In today's video, I spent $1,000 in Japan? What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. In this video, I have $1,000 worth of cards from Japan. And you might ask, when did you go to Japan, Ruxin? I didn't go to Japan. So then you didn't really spend money in Japan. Whoa, I did. My money was spent in Japan because my sister went to Japan. What's up guys? We're here in Tokyo. We started going out and about right after I got off the plane, so I'm sorry. We went to <laughs> Sky Tree, and tomorrow's my birthday, so I got a cute sticker. We are on the mission to find some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And neither of us know anything about Yu-Gi-Oh, so... <laughs> Before we actually get into it, I have a giveaway. Since we're doing a Japanese OCG opening, I have two Ultimate Rares that we pulled in the Duelist Nexus video the other day. Go check that one out. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know what you think about all the cards that we got here and what my sister should have bought for me. This video is sponsored by... HelloFresh. Do you ever want high quality food for cheaper than takeout? So do I. Well, if I got good news for you, HelloFresh is cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% cheaper than takeout. And not only is it cheaper, HelloFresh has 40 recipes and 100 seasonal and convenience items each and every week. Now it's gotta be hard to prepare if it's that good and that cheap, right? Actually, no. HelloFresh delivers pre-portioned ingredients and easy to prepare recipes right to your front door or back door. I don't know where you get your stuff delivered. Don't, don't look at me. So not only are you gonna be saving time actually ordering the ingredients and having them sent to your door, but you're also gonna save time in the kitchen with HelloFresh's quick and easy meals. One example is their fast and fresh pineapple chicken tacos, which are ready in 15 minutes or less. Chelsea actually prepared the jalapeno bacon mac and cheese. And I gotta tell you, I think this is my favorite thing I've had from HelloFresh yet. This massive dish only took her about 45 minutes to prepare and it tasted like it took several hours. If you guys want to try some for yourself, check out my link down below and use code POGRUXIN MAY16 to get 16 free meals plus free shipping. Thanks again to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. So let me explain the story. My sister was going to visit Japan because she had a friend that lives there. I heard about this and I said, hey, if I sent you a thousand bucks, could you go spend it for me on Yu-Gi-Oh cards in Japan? She was glad to do it. So that was awesome. We're going to have some clips of her, you know, going through some stuff. I don't know. I don't know what she did. She just told me, don't watch them. I was like, okay, I won't watch them. Did she get the right stuff? Let me know in the comments. Did she buy good stuff or did it suck? We got to know. Okay, guys, um, we're here. This is the fanciest place I've ever been in my entire life. This is what we're working with. They have a lot of different kinds of cards they have pokemon they have magic the gathering and Yu -Gi -Oh. okay we found the boxes there's only three this is all we have we're thinking we gotta go for the most expensive one because okay i'm sorry basic basic that's calling my name right there that's it's three hundred dollars <laughs> Okay, so we did the exchange rate. We have basically 135,000 yen. So after we get the 35,000 box, we have $100,000 left <laughs> to spend on individual cards. So let's find some. All right, let's start with the rarity collection. I really love opening these up. They're like a really fun product. If we ever got this in the US, I think this would absolutely crush. So we got rarity collection Arc V. So I'm guessing this is not the blue eyes one since it's Arc V, but I could be wrong. Inside we can pull holographic rare, extra secret rare, ultimate rare, ultra rare, super rare, secret rare, collector rare, all inside this one pack. So let's see if we can pull some of those. Is there a pull tab on this? There is, okay. Pull tab, OCG openings. You guys know how we roll. Japanese, a thousand bucks spent. Let's see if it was worth it. So we're starting off, I mean, Instant Fusion Hollow. That's a pretty nice super rare. We have a Coach Soldier Wolf Bark. That is a, is that a Nuturia card? I think it is. And then we have a Crimson Blader, I think his name is. Super rare. So it's, oh, that's an ultra rare. Yeah, that's an ultra rare. So ultra rare to start it off. That's our first rarity. I mean, I guess super rare counts, but they're, I think everything's super other than the foils. Second pack. So ultra rare in the first one, not bad. I didn't know all those cards, which is pretty nice. I mean, I, I'm, I'm priding myself on learning the cards, guys. Because remember back in the day when we would do these and I would know none of the cards if they weren't like old school. So I'm getting better at that. Let's see, we have an Allure of Darkness, very nice. We have, this is like a Sacred Crane or something like that. No, Sacred Crane is a IOC. I think this is a different name. We have Vanity's Emptiness, crazy card. And we have a Compulsory Evacuation Device, ultra rare. 
another nice one. That's looking good. So a couple of great cards so far. Only haven't known one card. I'm doing pretty good. I think there's 15 total packs in here. So this is uh, the fluff of the video, you know, because the other rest, I mean, if it's singles, isn't going to be too much. Let's see what else we can get. And by fluff, I don't mean like bad stuff. I just mean like the majority of the video. Uh oh. Is that a collector rare that's bent? I think it might be. Mizuki, let's find out. Naturia Barkeon. We have a rescue rabbit. Nice hollow. These supers look so nice. And then we have a tour guide collector rare, but it's bent. No, straight from Japan. Oh, it's been such a nice card. It still is, but oh, that is unfortunate. Check that out. It's not a little bend either. That thing is. It's dinged. I saw it right away. I was like, I think that's a bent corner. Such a nice collector. I think you usually get like two of these though in here. So hopefully our next one is not dented. That would be good. Okay, unfortunate bend on the uh, on the corner there for the tour guide, but still, I mean, a pretty awesome pull. I mean, I love tour guide. I throwback card for sure. We have a debris dragon, nice super rare right there. We have a summoner's art. A this is like this is a prize card. I think this is a dark lord card. I don't remember what it's called. And then a secret rare Naturia Barkeon. Very nice. The cool part about this set is you already saw Naturia Barkeon in super, but you can also see it in secret. So basically, Naturia Barkeon could be super, it could be secret, it could be. I think I don't know if it could. Be ghost but i think it'd be collector rare it could be like ultra it could be all that different stuff so it's really cool because you don't know what cards you're getting and any card you like could be a high rarity card so if there's petite moth in here in theory we could get it like a really high rarity card let me know in the comments uh i i think i know the answer but how would you feel about a u.s version of rarity collection i think that could absolutely blow up like i think that would be one of the best sets ever, especially if you put some iconic cards, then you could throw in some nice meta cards as well. It could be insane. That is a Dragoonity card. We have a, there's Tour Guide. That's a super, very cool. The, uh, ooh, the Leviar the Sea Dragon. There we go. And then we got a Formula Synchron Ultra Rare. Very nice Ultra. Can't believe our Collector Rare was bent. It's crazy because Japan has the craziest, like, quality control. So I'm guessing that happened, like, after it was in the pack or something. I don't know, because almost every time they have such really nice quality control for their cards. Okay, we got Cowboy. We have Arch Lord Christia. That's a crazy Edison card. Fiendish Chain. And we got a Lavalval Chain, I think is the name of that one. Another Ultra. So you get a bunch of Ultras in here. It, I think Ultra is a minimum, right? It feels like we've gotten... Oh, oh got to be careful there. I feel like we've gotten at least an Ultra every time. So that might be like four Supers and Ultra is the worst you can get. Now, can we get a Ghost Rare? I mean, Ghost Rares are definitely not guaranteed out of here. So if we pulled one, it'd be pretty nice. Elemental Hero Prisma. This is a very expensive card in common these days. Uh, Anti-Spell Fragrance. Who loves a good uh, mini floodgate there? We have a Smorg, the, the Dark Smorg? I think Dark Smorg. And Ultimate Rare Monster Reborn! Oh, and look, this is old school ultimate. So this must be an this must be the first rarity collection. Maybe that's why it was so expensive. An ultimate rare. Oh, no. The corner. The corner has a little ding to it. What's up with these corners? I mean, that one's not nearly as bad, but wow, that looks good. It's got slight corner issue, but it's not bad. A little bit of a... Man, that's a pretty card. We got this in Lost Art, but I mean, Ultimate Rare. Old school Ultimate Rare, too. It's not the new version. So I wonder when this came out. I guess we'll have this pop up on the screen at some point. But Ultimate Rare, Monster Reborn. That's an amazing pull. You guys can see how fun this would be to open. I mean, this would be insane. And then it would keep the values up, too, because when every card can be every rarity, it's really hard to pull the one you want. So it wouldn't be like crushing values or anything either. So I think it'd be the best of both worlds. Book of Moon. That was another Dark Lord card before that. Summoner Monk and... Uh, Oh, a collector rare Trixula. Man, this box is so good. It feels like every card is insane right now. Trixula collector rare. Wow. My sister killed it. Oh my goodness. She got the, a really nice box for sure. Man, these are really good pulls. Okay, Arch, Arc V, not Arch V. <laughs> Arch, Arc V. Okay, let's see. Can we get a ghost rare? If we get a ghost rare, I'm going to freak out. That would be insane. We got Noah's Ark over here. I think it's called the, what is it called? The Selection? We have a, that is an Infernity card, a Fire, that's a Fire Fist card, and a, ooh, a Prismatic Secret, Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. Wow, these are insane. We are getting some crazy high rarity cards. Like, we could have some boring ones, and we're pulling a lot of great, awesome ones. This is insane. There's still a lot of packs left. Wow, this is a crazy opening. We haven't even gotten to the singles she bought, which I think will be the best part. Uh, there's a Chameleon guy, Instant Fusion. Coach Soldier Wolf Bark and a TG Hyper Librarian. 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 I cannot say that. That's a difficult word to say. Okay. Five packs to go. So we're only 10 packs in, by the way. Keeping that in mind. Do we get two ultis? I hope we do because that ulti was crazy looking. Maxi! Hey, Maxi is out there. 
We've got a Cyber In Dragon alternate art. We've got a Ferris Lightsworn Archer, I think. And, uh, ooh, a Breakthrough Skill. That's also a very good card. Ultra Rare. We'll take that. Man, this has been a crazy opening. This has been really nice. I mean, this has been fun. Let me know. If you guys like this opening, I could probably acquire more Rarity Collection. I'm obviously not going to Japan. I probably won't have my sister there soon anytime. But I think I could acquire more if we want to. We have, uh, maybe we could hit up our friends at Yugi Market. We have Allure of Darkness. We have Vandy's Emptiness and uh, a Thunder Seahorse, another ultra rare. That's looking nice. Three packs to go. Rarity collection. Give us another high rarity card. Give us an ulti. Give us a ghost. Something crazy. We got two collector rares, so I don't think we'll get another one, but who's I mean, who knows? Naturia, Debris Dragon. We have Summoner's Art and a Trishula. So there's Trishula in Ultra and not in Collector. Very nice. We'll take that. Two packs to go. Will we get some big to end it off? Two packs left. I gotta, you gotta like kind of move the cards to the left so that you can actually do the pull tab, right? There we go. We have Mizuki looking good right there. Naturia Barkeon again in Super. Rescue Rabbit. That would be a pretty cool Collector Rare. And... Uh, Oh, a Red Eyes Darkness Metal. So we got that in Ultra and Prismatic Secret. I don't think we got it in Super yet. All right, our last Rarity Collection pack. They've been pretty good to us so far. So I'm hoping for one more high rarity card in the last pack. Last pack magic. Come on, let's make it happen. We have another Dark Lord. We have a Dragoonity Guy. We have Tour Guide and a Ultra Rare Divine Dragon Knight Felgrand. That's pretty cool. So one ulti, but we got an amazing Monster Reborn with the original art. So that was pretty okay, cool. The only one I know that Phil likes is Blue Eyes White Dragon. <laughs> so I feel like we have to get one of those. Can you have? Can you have too many of the same card? I feel like no. That's his favorite one. The most expensive one is 380,000 yen. And the cheapest one is 158,000. We can So we have this right here. I don't know what she got, but I'm gonna go, are these in top loaders? I'm gonna go one at a time. So first we have a, okay, we got our prices on here. So I don't even know how to read this. Is it 20,000? Is that what it was? I don't know, let's just see. Oh, nice. We got a, a 20th anniversary blue eyes. Nice decision. Nice. So this is a five year old card at this point. Prismatic secret. It's like we have it the 25th anniversary because they have like the 25th stamp. But this is the 20th. We didn't get any 20th over here. We didn't get any special stamps, but they did. That is a really nice blue eyes white dragon. That's a good choice. A plus. So I guess that's a condition. I think she was telling me that was like their conditioning with like, you know, uh, like uh, number letters instead of numbers. So that makes sense. Uh, so A plus means minty, I guess. So that card looks insane. Maybe we should grade it. I don't know. I kind of like keeping it in this sleeve, though, because you can see like the yen and the plus. I might keep that in the binder like that just to remember like where it came from and how much it was. Is this the one he recommended? I think we should get one of these. The Stardust Dragon. She's cute. It's probably a boy, but... <laughs> Next card, we have a 25, is that? Oh yeah, so a little bit, a little bit more, it seems like. 2,500, 25,000, I should say. And then we have a Stardust, nice! Another 20th anniversary, this is a B plus. So let's see what a B plus looks like. Very nice looking card. Man, this is a B plus, what's wrong with it? I don't know, maybe there's like a corner I'm missing? Maybe right there a little bit? I don't know, this card looks really nice. If that's what, if that's, I think it's talking about condition, but hey, that looks really good. We'll take that. That was 29,000 yen. I kind of like this one. It looks like a girl. It's Enchanted Fairy Dragon. Enchanted Fairy Dragon. That sounds like my vibe. I think we should get one of those. I think there's only a couple more cards because she went quality over quantity, which you guys know I like. Let's see what's next. Okay, it's, oh, 5,000. So this one's less. Let's see. Oh, an ultimate rare ancient fair. Wait, am I wrong about that? Maybe 29. Maybe that was 290. I don't know exactly. Okay, ultimate rare ancient fairy dragon A plus condition. That thing looks insane. Let's check this out. All right, ultimate rare ancient fairy dragon. That is sick. I mean, does that have the errata? Probably not. It doesn't, I don't think. I don't even know if they errata it over there. I don't know how that works. Yeah, this card's really nice. So this one was... Yeah, I, I don't think this was six bucks. This was probably 69 ish dollars. I don't know if it's it's not one to one that way, like 100 to one. Uh, and so the, Stardust, is that the most expensive card? I don't know. OK, you guys, I took Japanese. I didn't learn like any kanji, so I can't read all these. But whoever this guy is, I'm kind of feeling his vibe. <laughs> Hope we chose right. Mission accomplished. Hope he's okay with one box and four cards. 
we picked the cutest ones and their anniversary and that, that feels special so all right final card in here what was it it was 19. Oh, Ultimate Rare Genzo! This is hilarious, because Simo actually gave me this card. So I know I have two of these. It seems like people just know that Genzo is a card that I want. I mean, I'm not complaining. I'll take this any day. This was the most expensive card, it seems. Ultimate Rare, she did go for an old school ulti, which I'm, I was hoping she did. And Genzo was a great decision. The front looks incredible. Should I grade this? Back looks pretty good. I mean, it's A plus according to the store. That looks good. So we got four singles here. And wow, talk about good choices. I mean, she doesn't really know much about Yu-Gi-Oh, but hey, check out these decisions. I mean, like Angel Fairy, we love that. We love Blue Eyes, we love Stardust, and we love Genzo. Shout out to my sister in the comments for amazing choices. And that, of course, that uh, rarity collection was insane as well. By the way, that was five items for $1,000. So those OCG items can get expensive. If you guys enjoyed this video and you wanna see something like this again, maybe one day I'll take myself to Japan and we'll spend even more than $1,000 on some OCG cards. Let me know in the comments, who knows? It might happen. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, Dizzy, Micycle, America Deutscher, Supreme Sage 21, and then a tie show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mehmet Gecko, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.